when people are consciously aware of these things then and think it through then they 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 recognize that but i find that for some people before they get there they end up in a situation that we're looking for it's like when you do a um a budget like a savings plan with with people and it's like they're they look for the easy excuse maybe is the word or the easy reason that they give themselves to say oh no this has gone wrong and this is why i think it's um what i've found from having like a a, a, either a coach or an advisor or a um, accountability buddy in your corner that you have that higher level of accountability because if you go read some an article or a book or watch do an online course or something and you might put a strategy into place especially if it's something where we're delaying gratification now for some whether it's your health your well-being relationships mental health finances or whatever that you when when there's a road bump or or something happens you can just go Oh no! I'm going to go binge eat on the couch and just hit, watch Netflix all weekend instead of you know getting doing getting your steps in and eating sensibly or um, you know saying no to that spending that you want to do. But we tell ourselves and it's like oh this happened and then that happened and it is um, it's hard to escape. So I, I know for for myself I'm guilty of that from time to time. Thankfully I've built the muscle um, a little bit after focusing on it for such a long time, but. For people that are a bit earlier on in that journey, how do you think they can navigate that um, the potential to self sabotage? It really comes down to habits, which is what you just um, touched on. Then, without saying the word specifically, like you've worked for years and years to build that muscle up, and that's what habits are. Like where the the old saying, you um, you got to break the habit. You don't actually ever break a habit. It just dissipates into the back of your mind build up other habits around that. So for when you're starting out, we literally have to go right down to basement bottom and start really, really simply. And, you know, it's when you think about it, the easiest way to explain this is like in the fitness world. So when someone wants to lose 20 kilos, you don't start off going, right, goal is 20 kilos, we're going to get there in 10 weeks and then gradually start like chipping away and saying, oh, well, you know, only 19.6 to go. Like You're going to lose them within a week, if not sooner. But if we say to them, okay, let's start looking at the lifestyle that you're living. And, you know, for someone, it, like it's small increments every day. If you did 1% better every day, over 12 months, you'd be, I think the number is it's around 30, 38% better off. Um, mm -hmm. Now, for someone who's doing nothing at all, if we take the fitness example is, uh, again, where you're sitting on the lounge, you're eating takeout all the time, you know, you're not sleeping, you're not having vitamins, you're it, drinking sugar or alcohol and all of that type of thing, it is so easy to do 100% because all you have to do is get off of the lounge <laughs> you know, or yeah. stop drinking the soda, like those types of things. For it's those of us who... Well, and that's the thing, like it's, that's really, it's real. Uh, and look, I don't underestimate the hard work that those people have to go through to continue to move through that. But when you go down to the basics, so it could be, I know in my life, and so as you said, like I've had a past life in finance myself. And so I've been lucky enough to see all these different tools and strategies and all of these things. But I know in the toughest times of my life, I've always come back to the simple things. Like if when I was starting my business and I was stretched financially, if I couldn't save the amount of money that I wanted to save, I literally one day sat down and said, you know what I'm going to do this week? I'm going to save $1 every week. I would literally log in to my online banking platform and put $1 into my savings account every day just to prove that I could do it. And it was just building a habit of you're putting something away, you're putting something away, and then all of a sudden, you know, you don't need that. And so you put a little bit more in type of thing. It, it's those, it's the really simple strategies. Don't underestimate those things because if you get the foundations right, as you start to grow and you move and it gets more, uh, I was going to say strategic, but it gets harder just in life in general. Mm. It's the foundations that are going to keep you solid and keep you moving rather than it all coming crashing down. Yes, it's very true. I think for, you know, health, for, for well-being and for money as well. Like a, I was talking to my trainer and uh, he was asking me for money tips and it's like 
the the most effective things is just spend less than you earn and regularly just invest do something with the money whether it's paying down debt building the emergency fund whatever it's those those fundamentals and it's great to have you know the best performing investments in the world but a really those those things if you look at it over a long period of time if you build that muscle that's going to be a big go a big way to financial success and i think for a lot of very successful people that are very successful financially when you dive into it that that foundation is there and it's rock solid because that's what allows them to then capitalize and people go oh but yeah but you did this business or you you made that big move there but there was all of like the thousand steps before that that helped them get to exactly. that exactly and it's like it's that curse of the whole social media facade, I suppose you can liken it to, where, you know, you mm. look on Instagram and everyone looks happy and, ah, oh, everything's great. You don't see the real life behind that. Uh, yeah. Like, you don't, as you said, you don't see the hours and hours and days and months and years that people have scrimped and saved to get that one shot in front of wherever they are in the world or doing something that, they like, you think that, oh, they just miraculously got that. That's not how yeah. it happens um and it's yeah it's definitely it's the foundations like you said like you think of all of the well-known people like all the well-known business people even like celebrities and their rich list and all of those mm. people if they're being honest with you they will tell you the hard work that they put in for the foundations it, it wasn't just something overnight that came to them yes absolutely that's the um the mirage, the social media, that when people start coming into the attention that it seems like it's just happened, but uh, exactly. yeah, behind the scenes. 